Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. And I've got a lot to say, so stay a while and listen. I had to do it at least once. Uh, today we are going to be talking about the gold skin armor. Uh, the gold skin armor is a relatively low level armor and, um, and it's actually a fairly decent low level armor. If you find this on a solo self found uh, quest, uh, you will probably be very happy that you found a gold skin uh, because gold skin is just a relatively nice low level armor. Um, it has uh, nice stats and it also has a pretty decent bonus to the amount of gold that you find as well. Um, so let's go over this armor together and we'll talk about what it can be used for and we're also going to upgrade it too because uh, I like to do that. So uh, right off the bat you'll see that it is 405 defense which is fairly nice for level 28. We also have an 80 strength requirement, which is not bad for level 28. Uh, at level 28, I feel like that strength requirement is, is perfectly fine. Um, we also have a 150% bonus to defense, which does uh, vary by 30%, so 120 to 150. A uh, plus 2 to light radius, which is absolutely amazing for those dark catacomb runs. I'm, I'm being a little sarcastic. Uh, we also have uh, alt resistances plus 35, which is great. Uh, all resistances plus 35 is um, is pretty amazing for a level 28 armor um, and can be augmented uh, with uh, some runes or something like that if you want to socket it and throw something in there. Uh, maybe you found a 15% um, a all resistance jewel or maybe you have an um rune laying around or maybe you've got um, maybe you just want to throw a specific resistance in there. Uh, so you're going to throw like a gem or a, a, a specific resistance rune in there. And, um, you know, it, it, for specific use case scenarios, it could come in handy. Like maybe you're taking your mercenary to um, the council and you want your mercenary to not die to the hydras and you throw in a ral rune for fire resistance or something. It'd be nice. Uh, we also have attacker takes damage of 10, which at level 28 is uh, not that great, and 100% extra gold for monsters, uh, which is pretty darn sweet. Uh, if you happen to be leveling up a... Um a barbarian who is uh, very specifically going for gold find. This could be a very decent gold find armor early on, and perhaps you would socket it with a um, a, a lem rune or maybe a, uh, a perfect topaz for magic find. Uh, really, kind of depends. Um, I believe lem runes are level forty three, so it would increase the level a little bit, but you would get one hundred and fifty percent magic find. Uh, which is a uh, pretty pretty nice chunk of extra gold. If you're wondering what Magic Find Barbarians do with all their gold, it, they gamble it uh, for very nice items. Now, this particular item can also spawn Ethereal, and unfortunately, every time I spawn in Ethereal items uh, using Hero Editor, they don't have the correct defense. So we're going to run the defense numbers on this really quickly, and uh, it's not very difficult. Uh, so all we have to do is get the base defense of the full plate mail. Uh, which is 161, so 161 plus 50 percent, and uh, we wind up with 241, and then we also add in the 150 percent bonus, so plus 150 percent for the bonus, um, and we end up with a defense of 603.75, which is actually a pretty decent defense for a ethereal armor, um, and we could use this on a mercenary. Um, it's definitely a very good low-level mercenary armor because mercenaries tend to have very poor resistances starting out. Uh, around level 28, you're just getting into nightmare difficulty, and uh, those 35 to all resistances can actually be pretty clutch to keep your mercenary alive uh, and, and useful. So we're going to upgrade these armors, and uh, we're going to have some fun. So uh, what we're going to need is we're going to need a shale rune, a tal rune, and a perfect diamond. And uh, hopefully we have two here. Looks like we do. And when we upgrade the ethereal armor, the defense will fix itself. Um, so we're going to put the shale, the tail, and the perfect diamond in here. And we are going to go from 405 defense, 80 strength requirement, level 28, to a chaos armor with 825 defense, 140 strength, and level 33. Now that upgrade is actually pretty solid. Um, the, de the strength requirement did go up quite a lot, don't get me wrong, but the level requirement did not. So from level 28 to 33, that's only, what, three, four, five levels. That's a pretty decent level increase uh, for a rather large defense increase. Um, and if you are a melee character who is utilizing high strength weapons, uh, 140 strength is not that bad 
especially considering you're going to need 156 to at least use a monarch shield uh, for the spirits. Now, um, the ethereal version, of course, has 10 less strength requirement because it's ethereal, and when we upgrade this, um, it will be a little, little less terrible. So um, this one is going to go from that nice 600 some odd, some odd defense, 70 strength, and level 28 requirement to 1,256 defense, uh, 130 strength requirement, and level 33. That's not bad at all. Um, that is actually a pretty solid one-tier upgrade, and uh, I'm going to say right off top of my head that, um, that I feel like upgrading the gold skin armor one tier is definitely not bad. Um, I have a feeling that upgrading it to the third tier is going to be absolutely terrible, but, uh, but you know what? We're going to do it because that's what these videos are about. Um, so we're going to need a Lem and a Co. Uh, for both of these, so Lem and Co's, and we're going to need two perfect Diamonds. So let's go ahead and upgrade the non-ethereal version first. And this is going to go from 825 defense, 140 strength, level 33, to 1,187 defense, 230 strength, level 76. So as you can see, the 230 strength requirement on that makes it uh, something that you're not going to be able to utilize. Um, the stats on it just don't really justify the third tier upgrade, and I feel like um, upgrading gold skin to the third tier there is just not worth it. Um, let's do the ethereal version though, and let's see how the ethereal version's defense stacks up. So we go from 1,252, strength requirement 130, and level requirement of 33, to 1,792, 220 strength requirement, and uh, level 76. So a really a very poor upgrade to the third tier. Uh, from tier 1 to tier 2, definitely nice. From tier 2 to tier 3, absolutely terrible. And um, and I think that's really all there is to talk about with, uh, with Gold Skin. Um, Gold Skin is uh, one of the only two armors in the game that use this particular graphic. And, uh, and it does actually kind of look pretty, in my opinion. So when you put it on a character, you do get this um, sort of like almost lustrous sort of gold color. Like sort of golden orange. And uh, you do kind of glow in the light. Which is not bad. So if you happen to find a gold skin armor at level 28, which is where this armor started, um, it's actually a fairly nice plate to use for quite some time. Um, before the Lord of Destruction armors were added, gold skin was actually a really solid plate to utilize on just about anybody. Um, after the... Lord of Destruction armors were added, which is the Nightmare and Elite versions, um, the Gold Skin armor kind of lost a lot of its um, versatility. Uh, but it is still a very solid, high defense, high resistance plate um, that can give you a little bit of extra gold on your journeys upward. Um, so when you get to level 28, if you happen to have a Gold Skin hanging on, um, you can definitely utilize this on your character or your mercenary. And, uh, and I think you will find that it is difficult to replace this armor for quite some time, unless you just happen to have a very nice, better armor just sitting around. But, um, you know, it's, it's one of those things that it's like, you know, if I have a gold skin and I don't have something better, chances are I'm going to use the gold skin for quite some time. If I have something better, I'm probably not going to use the gold skin. But I usually try and hang on to the gold skin whenever I get my, get my hands on them because I do actually find them to be quite useful on those, those low to mid-level characters. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And, uh, and very quickly, let's go over where you can find this particular item, shall we? So, um, gold skin with about 150% magic find. Uh, let's see which bosses have the highest percent chance of dropping this item. Um, so, it looks like to me, uh, we're going to do non-quest. So, non-quest, Nightmare and Dariel. Apparently has the highest percent chance of dropping um, this item. And Quest and Dariel is the same percentage. Uh, also, Nightmare Mephisto, Nightmare Diablo, and uh, Normal Difficulty Bale has a pretty good chance of dropping this item. Uh, let's take a look at Normal Difficulty specifically. Uh, so Normal Difficulty Bale and Normal Difficulty Neolithak, as well as the Defilers. Um, the Defilers in uh, Worldstone Keep levels 1, 2, and 3.
have a pretty high chance to actually drop these items. Um, it's it's not um, the greatest, but it's there. And uh, let's see, Super Unix. Super Unix in normal difficulty. Um, Frozenstein, Pindleskin, Thresh Socket, Snap Chip, Shatter, Neelithag, Sharptooth Slayer, Lister the Tormentor, Achmel the Curse, Partuck the Bloody, Colenso Annihilator, and Ventar the Unholy. So um, if you farm Pindleskin in normal difficulty enough times, you'd probably end up getting this armor. Um, hmm. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, keep watching.